Baganda Gabi and Kamustika from Manila, Philippines. So this is country number two for me and couldn't be more excited and grateful to be here. Just getting off a flight here from Bangkok. It is 9 p.m. later than I usually like to fly, but cannot wait to see what the Philippines has in store for me. So come with me on this journey as I take you around on my first day and my first night here in the Philippines, specifically Manila. Just had to do the e-health code. It was pretty easy. You just fill out this e-health form before you get to Manila and then you scan a QR code. It took two seconds. Now I'm just getting to immigration. And in less than 10 minutes, I am through immigration. So yes, we are officially in the Philippines. Kamustika, Mandangan, Gabi, I just botched that, but I'll figure out the word. And Salamat to you. So, uh, all right, so let's do this. Here you go. Is that the blog? Vlogger, yes, hello. Hello. <laughs> YouTube. Where are you going? Kamusika. Where am I going? Going to uh, Binondo. Yes. Manila only. Yes. Well, right What's now. What's your content? Uh, I do travel food? content. For food? Yeah. You look familiar, right? Yeah, Zane Travel. Oh, Zane, Zane, you're Zane. Can we take picture with you? Of course. Take Wait, do you guys right? know? Yes, I watch you many times. Oh? No way. I think I follow you already. Later. <laughs> okay, okay, later. Z Zane, what, what name? Yes, Z Z I N. Z A N. Oh. Uh, Z A N E. Z A N E. Z A N E. Zane, Zane. Yes, travel. Travel. New subscriber? I will. All right. Okay. Ah, this one. There it is, yes. I already subscribed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Salamat. <laughs> All right, got some new subscribers here, guys. Hooking me up with the data card. Bangkok is good. Yeah, I like Bangkok. Yeah, it was nice. So, do you guys recommend I take a grab from here? Yeah, much better. Much better. Okay. Don't, will don't they come? Will they? Co will they come here? Yeah. Okay. Arrival B fifteen. B fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Don't use meter taxi, too expensive. Okay. A lot of traffic. Thank you. So I've got unlimited <laughs> data here for... One month, 15, For one month, yes. With goals. Yes, with calls. Yeah, love For 1,500 pesos, which is roughly... 25, $30. So I'll take that. All right, very friendly. SIM card people just got my business uh, $27 including the SIM card for unlimited data for 30 days now I have to get myself a grab here day 15 gotta say if you are coming to Manila take a grab it's very easy you'll be here in two minutes much faster than when I had to get a taxi from Suwarnabum Airport in Bangkok. So yeah, definitely like that so far. Bukandang Gabi, how are you? Zane? Zane, yes. So about a 40 minute Grab ride cost me uh, seven dollars and eighty-seven cents, and I believe the Ramada is right around the corner here, which is where I am staying. Maybe this is it. 
Hello, Ramada. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Salamat. Salamat, thank you. So here we are at the Ramada, just about to get checked in here. Hello, Kamusika, how are you? Uh, checking in. Checking in? Yes. Okay, yep. yeah, so all checked in here at the Ramada. So interestingly enough, both the grab driver and the front desk guy here at the Ramada told me to be very careful here walking at night. So I was thinking about going out. I still might. I'm not very hungry, but I'm not tired. And I would like to continue doing this vlog. Mostly pickpockets. I don't think I'll have any other issues, but let's take a look at this room here. This room cost me roughly $60 per night here. And I've noticed that a lot of other YouTubers use the Ramada, so that is how I found out about this hotel. I will say there's a bit of a strange smell in here, but uh, regardless, oh, this is this is interesting. So I'm in Binondo, which is the oldest Chinatown in the world, which is what I just learned. Uh, literally just, well, I knew it was a Chinatown, but I did not know it was the oldest Chinatown in the world. So anyway, here is the bathroom, nice and big shower, uh, mirror, got the uh, toilet game here. Of course, you got the classic bum gun, and of course, you need a phone next to the toilet. Uh, so, nice place to work. Bed feels comfortable, but normal for Asia in that it is a bit hard. And you can't see because it's, it's dark. Not really much of a view, but this is what we have. Welcome to the Philippines. Now, I think we are indeed going to go out. Although I'm not hungry, I am very thirsty. So I think we're gonna go try to find ourselves some water to drink. Definitely not alcohol right now because I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna find some water to drink here. Now, before I left Bangkok, I'm talking kind of quiet because I'm in the lobby of my hotel. So where's the first floor? Okay. Um, before I left Bangkok, I exchanged my remaining Thai bot for Filipino pesos, which was about, I think this comes out to about $160. At the airport, I did not do an ATM pool, so I will do an ATM pool in the morning. I do not want to do that tonight, given the repeated warnings that I received thus far an hour into my trip. Uh, so, let's see what around, what's around the corner here. Uh, and film some stuff. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, Salamat, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. All right, and here we are. Chinatown, the world's oldest Chinatown. So I noticed there's another 7-Eleven, I think about five minutes down the street. Let's just go check it out. Because not a lot of things are open right now. And I'm not very tired. I'm not hungry anyway, but I would like to get something to drink because I'm dehydrated from that flight. I genuinely have no idea how to uh, get across this train here. Wow, there's the first jeep jeepney I've seen. So jeepneys are a pretty unique thing to Manila from what I understand, but that was a jeepney that you just heard. I think we will ride one of those during my time here in Manila, but no idea how I get over to the 7-Eleven. Maybe over here. Now, interestingly enough, when I asked my grab driver what he would recommend I do, he said casinos. So we're just making our way over here. So 
very interesting that that was the main recommendation take a look at this got a little night street here i have no idea if i should be over here or not it is approaching 11 i'm normally not out this late but we are tonight so this is kind of cool area here. I'm sure it's even better during the day. But I'm gonna go over to this crosswalk. Cross that way. So okay, good old McDonald's and of course down there you have Jolly Bee. I don't know if you can see that and some restaurant called Chow King. I have no idea. All right, well, I think we're gonna try to make our way here and get over this way. Okay, now from here, getting all turned around. So So we have a lot more options here for waters. Let's take a look at the local beer here. I don't even know what the beer is in Philippines, I guess. San Miguel? I don't know. Um, but I, myself, tonight am looking for some type of water. Mineral water. Yeah. This looks like the one for me. All right, so. 7-Eleven bag. They do not have plastic here, but I'm gonna make my way back to the, hello, Salamat. I'm gonna make my way back to the Ramada and uh, might take you along the way where I might not. We're approaching, still approaching 11 p.m. here so gotta say people here in Philippines are extremely friendly and uh, I've known that about the Philippines in doing some research but it's definitely definitely living up to the hype. Magandag Tagali and Kamustaka here once again from Manila so it is the next day here and I still consider this to be my first day in Manila because it hasn't even been uh, 40 or 24 hours yet uh, so let's go out and see what is going on here um, it is around uh, 12 15 so I had a very late start this morning I had to catch up on some sleep and do some work but yeah let's go out and get some food see what's out there guys listen I don't know if you can hear the bells. Uh, they're just stopping. They were going for quite some time. So this is the view that I could not see last night of Binondo. And yeah, really nice bells. Got a gym here on the second floor. Definitely needing to hit that. Just realized having a coffee today. Not good, folks. Hello. Musica, how are you? Uh, I'm good. good. Thank oh, you. Yes, sir. Good, thank you. Hi. Thank you. All right. Let's see what we have here. Super friendly people working here. So you can see shot of Chinatown in the afternoon now. And 
way different than when I was here last night. But what I need to do is I need to get an ATM. I need to find an ATM to pull some money. I do have enough cash for food, so maybe we'll do that. But this looks really popular spot here. Also like to get some soup dumplings as well. So what is this place? So that place looks extremely popular. We might have to come back and hit that up at some point. But do I see an ATM over there? I do. So let us make our way here. And yeah, so now I do recommend anytime you use an ATM that you pull. That way it's not a uh, card skimmer. Uh, because that could be completely fake. I'm going to turn off the camera for this. I also recommend that when you put your card in, you do not put your uh, card details upwards. In other words, make sure that you can that you cannot see your credit uh, your debit card number. Um, make sure you always, when you take out your card, you um, keep it hidden because there's always a CCTV, and you have no idea if somebody is viewing. Uh, you from the CCTV. Many people will have their card details uh, taken or stolen from the CCTV. So I would recommend that when you use an ATM, especially abroad, uh, that you be very careful about what details you show around an ATM. Alright, I'm on the hunt for two things. Number one is coffee because I'm at that point in my consumption where I need coffee. And then number two is soup dumplings. So, let's get on this, somehow. We got this quickly spot, coffee jelly. I don't know that I'm feeling coffee jelly right now. Potato corner looks good. Let's see what else we have here, hello. And this looks really cool today. Yesterday I wasn't really sure what was going on or what to think of this area, but this looks happening. River. So actually guys turned around. I am thinking that there might be a coffee spot over here. Rice and noodle house. That looks quite good. I've got five days here in Benando and I'm gonna be doing a lot of hello sir! I'm gonna be doing a lot of exploring uh, here. That was the nicest person I think I've ever seen with a massive shotgun in their hand. Um, and gonna be doing a lot of exploring here in Chinatown and around. So make sure that you stay, uh, stay subscribed here. And I gotta say, so far, people here are just so friendly. So I knew that before I came here, but you gotta experience it yourself. Looks like there's some type of like lantern festival going on. Hello. Uh, here as well. Now I have read that Manila potentially has the worst traffic in the world. So we'll see if that is something to watch out for. You know what? I walked right back past the cafe. So there's Cafe Aquatica here. And we're gonna give that a shot. So get ourselves a coffee at Cafe Aquatica. Okay, do I wait? Everybody seems to be waiting for Fernando's oldest fast food and it looks like there's some pretty real dumplings there. So maybe we do. But there's also another place here called Big Bowl Noodle, which sounds like I could also get down with that. Let's see. 
What is down here? Hello. Looks like we've got like some sort of market here. Got fresh some vegetables. Fresh vegetables. Some nice food here, sweet food. Fruits, everything looks really good. Got a bookstore here as well. Excuse me. I'm very interested in seeing what this is about. Hello. Books, card items. <laughs> Looks like here is like a stationery and stuff, but let's take a look at what's up here. Wow. Look at all of these books. I think I'm the only one here. Hamlet study guide. <laughs> Okay, always interested in a good bookstore, but I've delayed my eating window by way too much, so it's time to go eat. So I've flip-flopped a hundred times, but I think, you know what, my original goal was to get some soup dumplings. I'm just going to wait in line, I'm not going to fall over. It's approaching 2 p.m., so it might take some time, but I think we will wait. Here. Oh man. I should have just came earlier. But we will wait. I would have just decided earlier. Would have had a better spot in the queue. But it is what it is. See, it's so popular. This place is called Chuan Fernando's oldest fast food. We've got some uh, street ice cream here. This guy's looking for business. Tempted. I'm really, uh, I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I've been waiting here for like, 30 minutes and I'm hungry. It's tempting. It's really tempting. YouTube. Got a helper here. Definitely going to get some pork soup dumplings. What are you guys gonna get? I don't know yet. Then. You don't know yet? Oh, yeah. Looks all good. The pork dumplings, I think. Oh yeah. The best. Shaolong, Shaolong bao. Shaolong bao. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you. All right, we're finally in after about 40 minutes. Hello. The soup dumplings, pork soup dumplings, pork chow long bao. Uh, uh, one order, and then um, what is the difference between the pork asado and the lechon? This one is uh, combined with asado and lechon. This is a uh, lechon tawani only. So it's just like, this is, doesn't have sauce? With, with sauce, with sauce. Uh, is this spicy? Which one is spicy? Uh, sweet, sweet sauce, not oh, spicy. This one? All of sauce is sweet. Okay, okay. Uh, what would you recommend? This one, sir. Mix. Okay, let's Sound go. With the yeah, let's go with that one. Okay. And then um, I'll do a uh, mango shake. Yes, sir, we have. Okay, I'll do one of those. One order. Uh, yes, please. Okay. And I think that's all for right now. 
Okay. 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 All right. So much. Thank you. All right. So we're here. We're at the bar, and you can see it's packed. So got myself soup dumplings, uh, lechon, which is a big Filipino food you have to try and a mango shake and I might get some more food after because I'm um, I've not consumed any calories today so very hungry and I waited 40 minutes for this so lechon I believe first time trying lechon we'll see I think he's cutting it up there this feels a very authentic experience Chaotic experience here, lots going on. I want to try everything, but I'm saving some room for later, I think. Maybe not, we'll see. Alright, so here's the Lachan. Here's the Lachan, thank you. Asada? Thank you. Came with sauce. And boy, does this look good. I'm gonna have to dig in to this. Not a lot of room because I'm right where they're cooking here, but. We'll go in. I'm so hungry. So, sauce smells good. Lechon is like a fatty pork, from what I understand. It's a Filipino food that you have to try. So, here it is. Thank you, sir. Here it is. Let's go in without sauce for the first one. Oh yeah. Oh man. Mmm. That's really good. It is so fatty and juicy. The skin is crunchy. The pork skin on the outside is crunchy as you can see here. Wow, it's good. All right, let's dip it in this sauce here. And oh man, look at this sauce. Wow. Mm. Oh yeah, you gotta do it with the sauce. So I think pickled with vegetables here. Yeah, which I, I've come to love pickled vegetables. Oh, this is good. And here's the soup dumplings. Look very good. He told me they're extremely hot, so I think we're gonna keep going at this uh, lechon here. Which, you gotta try. And the asada sauce is so good. It's a sweet, spicy, sort of tangy. Not, spi uh, not very spicy, more of a sweet, tangy. So here are the soup dumplings. He actually told me the soup dumplings with a uh, spoon, but... Mm. Oh yeah. So I have to be honest, I've never had authentic Chinese soup dumplings, or Zhao Bin Bao, Bao, I believe is what they're called. Let's try the sauce. Ooh, the sauce is good. Oh yeah. Even better with the sauce. sauce is sort of like, there's like a brown sugar in the sauce. Oh yeah, still eating this pork. Man, this is worth the wait. Let's try them here with the spoon. Get them in the sauce here. Mm. Mm -hmm. So 
little bit. And last pork dumpling, soup dumpling. Lechon has been finished. Lechon. I'm definitely full. I'm definitely happy. And I'm just waiting on a mango smoothie that I ordered. I'm not sure I should have ordered because I'm so full. Cool. And here we are. Got the mango smoothie. Actually came in time for dessert. Okay, thank you. Here's 500. You can keep. You can keep. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what did she say? So we got the smoothie to go. Thank you. Salamat, thank you. Smoothie to go. Definitely feeling full. Cool. Got a plate of lechon, soup dumplings. This smoothie cost me 485 pesos. I gave them 500. So, still trying to figure out the math here. I think that's under $10. Yes, it is $9.18 is what that meal cost me. If I didn't tip, it'd probably be like $9. Oh my god, I have the most intense case of brain freeze from this mango shake. Ooh, it's good though. It's kind of wandering here, enjoying the sights and sounds. Let me tell you folks, this is a new type of chaos. But different than Bangkok. Just say so many people here just so friendly. Just so friendly. Really enjoying my first 24 hours here. So guys, first and foremost, I'm just walking around here. Hello. Hello. It's Antonio. This is just everywhere I go. It's amazing. Uh, I'm walking around here and there's just so many little open air markets here. Kind of just not sure where I am. And that's okay. Um, another thing I've noticed, there's a, like the, uh, Mountain Dew, you know, the soda, seems to be very popular. Oh, here's a casino. We might have to go in there. I doubt that they'll let me film, but we might need to go in there. All right, we're just going to go for it here. Wow. Hey. Hello, sir. Wow, this is a uh, new dopamine unlock. So much going on. Hello there. What I mean by that is just the sights, the sounds, the energy. I mean, hello, sir. And I just seem to be walking our finding my way on these cool little walking streets here. Oh, look at this. We've got crystals and gems. Look. Look at this. I wonder if I'm allowed to film here. But I've gotten in trouble for that before. Fortunately, GoPro is overheating here. It's a freaking scorcher here. And I had a really good conversation with somebody that didn't get recorded, but he told me Right now is the time that you say Magandan Hapon. So, hello. This is a really cool street. So many things going on here. So, here's what I was talking about, this Filipino Mountain Dew. Different bottle, looks different. Haven't had a Mountain Dew in ages. I don't really drink soda much. They didn't want to be filmed, which is fine. It was 20 pesos. There's only one left, which means it was for me. So, let me get this open here. I'm not in the mood for alcohol today, so Mountain Dew will have to suffice. Ooh, oh my God. Wow, is that good. Look at how green it is. I think it's the bottle, honestly. Mm. Oh, wow, is that good. 
I'm only 78 calories, which is strange because normally Mountain Dew is a lot more, but I think this is a smaller bottle. Mmm. Oh my god. 20 pesos, which is, I don't know, not even 50 cents. You know, at first I was questioning whether or not I made the right choice in going to Bonondo first. I'm not questioning that anymore. Very glad I decided to choose Bonondo as my first place. Because my god, is it crazy. Mind you, is it Thursday? It's Thursday here? Can't imagine what it's like on the weekends. And I think around the corner we've got this casino. So let's see if they let me film in there. If they do, I'm gonna roll the dice a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Baccarat. Ooh, it looks cool. I doubt that they'll let me film. But let's see. Here it is. Anundo satellite. So let me see if they let me film. Alright. Can I film? So that casino is pretty locked down. Could not get any footage in there. That's okay. If you're curious, I spent 1,200 pesos, which I believe is $12, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more, around $10. Didn't win. It's okay. Casinos are not set up to be in your favor. So I'm in this supermarket here. Let's see what they have. This is interesting. Should we continue our trend of uh, drinking soda? Probably not. But, is that not the most interesting Coke bottle you've ever had, or you've ever seen? Maybe we have to get one. Alright, so, here's this unique can of Coke. Let's give this a shot. I also got, let me just find a place to drink this. I also got one of my favorite drinks I discovered in Bangkok which is called Kakari Sweat. Also sugary, but more of an electrolyzed drink. Let's see if Coke tastes different here. Like you would expect, but in a really cool can. It cost me 179 pesos for this bottle of Coke. It's a little interesting can of Coke and Kakari Sweat. Which is almost probably about two dollars or so. Got a really cool milk tea spot. I have to come back here. Hello. Hello. All right, I think that just about wraps up my first day here in Manila. Amazing first day. I have a lot to say, and I think a lot more to do here in the city and in the country of the Philippines. Thanks so much for being here, and I'm gonna certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.